welcome to another episode of Cooking Healthy with Coastline. I'm Caitlin Ferreira, registered dietitian, and today I'll be taking you through a couple recipes incorporating carrots. Did you know May is National Healthy Vision Month? Approximately 30, 37 million American adults are diagnosed with macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, or cataract, all of which can uh, increase risk for blindness. And as we commonly know, uh, eating a very uh, nutritious diet can help protect against um, blindness and um, impair our, our vision. So vitamin A is a component in carrots that protects us from those uh, diseases. That's why I've chosen carrots today. And they're also, both of these recipes are great for um, springtime events. If you're going to a shower, celebrating a holiday, uh, I think they'd be really great a great hit for, a big hit for your event. So we're gonna get started. The first is uh, just a, like a classic glazed carrot recipe. And I've picked out the uh, carrots in the bag that were a little bit skinnier so that we can keep them in their full length. They're just peeled and uh, trimmed the, the tops. I'm going to season these with a little bit of olive oil and some coriander black pepper, and a little bit of sea salt. Okay. And the coriander is going to go really well with the, the glaze because it's slightly sweet and lemony. Okay. And just make sure that they're, um, eat, they're all coated. And these uh, small, I've, I took the larger carrots from the bag and cut them up smaller. As you can see, these are um, like bite size. So these are going to be prepared with an avocado chimichurri dipping sauce. So kind of like carrot fries, but I don't really want to call them that. These are going to be seasoned with salt and salt, uh, sea salt and a little black pepper as well, but with uh, paprika instead of the coriander. We're going to bake them at the same time. Okay. Dirty hands. All right, and you really want to make sure that they get, um, they get dressed evenly. Oh. <laughs> slippery. Okay. So they're going to bake uh, for a total of approximately 24 minutes. We'll flip them around 12 minutes. Okay. And I have the oven at 400 degrees. Okay. And then these here. And they all fit, and here we are preparing two different recipes using the same ingredients, one pan, and again, incorporating the same uh, ingredients to make sure that we're getting the most bang for our buck. All right, so these are gonna go in the oven. Okay. And we'll need some of the olive oil for the chimichurri dipping sauce. So we've got olive oil, cubed avocado, fresh parsley, garlic, and lemon juice. And the avocado is going to be the most abundant ingredient here. You want to leave some for the uh, roasted carrots when we're done. That's also going to go in the recipe. Okay. I'm just eyeballing the, the portions here. We're not making a ton of the carrots for dipping, so just want to stay mindful of, of the, uh, the amount of sauce we make for them. So I've done about maybe three, three to four tablespoons of the olive oil, a generous handful of the fresh parsley. It's going to give it a lot of its flavor. And I have four cloves of garlic here, but I think I'm only going to do about half. You can always add more garlic. Once you put too much, it's hard to go back. And I have half of half. Um, juice from half of a lemon. And I didn't use it all. Let's see how this goes. Okay, 
I'll give it a whirl. All right. So we'll transfer this to um, a little bowl to dip the carrots in. And you can modify the flavor if you need to, if you feel like it needs a little more um, garlic, lemon, uh, more avocado or parsley, or whatever other ingredients you wanted to add here. And you want it to be as creamy as possible, but all blenders have their, uh, their different blending capabilities. So as, as creamy as you can get it. So we'll check on the carrots. Perfect. Beautiful. And we'll transfer the full length carrots to their original plate. We'll continue to uh, season them. So just a little bit of the juice from the cuties. We'll add a handful of them. Handful of walnuts. And I'm actually going to top them with some of the parsley and avocado we had. And then we'll finish off the, um, the dipping carrots. So there you have two recipes incorporating carrots, which are great for eye health. And if you're crazy for carrots, I bet you'll enjoy them. If you'd like more information, you can visit coastlinenb.org. Thanks.